Another day, and another C++ tutorial. Today, evidently, it's going to be vector arrays. And this time, I'm using my uh, headphones to record because my uh, desktop uh, dedicated microphone, um, well, is a lost cause. The noise just simply couldn't be fixed. And I just gotta dump that thing away and get something new. Anyways, this is still gonna be acceptable sound quality, so let's just go for it. Start off, we already have the program made vector array source. You know the drill. First thing I'm gonna include is the IO stream. Then we're gonna include our Conio H. And then I'll include another include. This one's called vector. We're going to need this. Using namespace std into main. Alright. That's just the basic start. Now let's start making vector arrays. So this is what it's going to look like. Vec three hundred. That right there is a vector array. Now, what does this mean? This is an integer value. This is using the vector functionality. Vector arrays. Um, let's uh, let me add this here. Some comments. So it's an integer data type. 3 is the number of elements, and 100 is the value of all three elements. Um, vectors are special because there are certain uh, ways we can manipulate the array, and that I'll showcase you uh, uh, as soon as I start uh, getting this thing going. So... Yeah, it's better I just show you than really to explain here. There's really not much to explain. <laughs> so let's just get started. So this is our first manipulation here. So the C out, this will throw in the raw string, you know the drill, vex size. Now what's this going to do? This will, uh, size right here, will display the number of elements uh, in this array. Um, that number being 3. So, we're going to watch for that. 3 elements. Let's, let's get this out of the way right now. Because we're going to go ahead and you know, finish up the program later on. So let's get our get in return. As a matter of fact, why don't I just show you, not just talk to talk, but just show you why it will be 3, or that it will be 3. 3. So yeah, this is pulling out the number of elements. That's what size is, basically. Just showcasing your number. Let's throw the next manipulation here. It is empty. Get out of the way. So, vect dot empty. And uh, let me get some notes here. Return zero uh, because it is false. One if true. Uh, it is not empty, so it will return zero. Next. First element. Vec. At zero. 
and L. Paste my notes. All element, all three elements have a value of 100. Obviously, the zeroth element is going to be 100. So let's watch for that. Pop back. Now what this is going to do is it removes the final element. Now let's try it out for size here. Go vector size. Vec size. And L. Because it will remove the final element. The size will become 2 because one element will be lost. And that's due to this function right here. Final element. Eh. Oh, you're hating me. Oh, why are you being a hater? Oh. Now stop hating. All we did was remove the last element of 100. It's still going to be 100 because the values didn't change. Back, clear. Yep. This remove all elements. So we're going to have to check the vector size to prove this. Uh, no. Vec dot size. So, by removing all, obviously the size will be zero because everything is gone. Pushback is going to be the last function I'll demonstrate here. So, what pushback is going to do going to add an element. Oh, and the value is going to be 200. That's what we're going to be adding. Now, let's uh, throw vector size. Vector size will showcase what it's going to be. Because you always got to check the size. And that size that's going to be will be 1 because we added 1 to 0 elements because it was cleared above. It goes from this order. It works its way up and down. So this whole time we've been manipulating this. Next, we're going to go ahead and uh, check what the first element is. And to do so, we are going to say vec front obviously uh, the first element is going to be 200. The first element is going to be 200 because we made it 200. Alright, and if everything matches up, if I play this program, it will be do just that.
Alright. So, the vector size is 3, yes. Is it empty? No, it's not. So it returns 0 because it's false. Just like a boolean, apparently. The first element is going to be 100. Because obviously the 0th element is 100. Um, then, uh, the vector size. Uh, because we remove the final element, it becomes 2. 2 because one element is lost. Alright, and then the final element, uh, the value of that, back value, I guess you want to call it, is 100. Because we didn't do anything to change it, and all of them are 100, so no matter what you pick, in this case, the last value, it's 100. It removes everything when we do clear. Um, uh, and the size becomes 0. Okay. And with pushback, uh, we're adding 200. Uh, but... So we basically have one element now from that size. I guess you can do uh, push front. I, I bet you can do that, but no, no, no. Push back apparently is the only thing that can confirm that works. But anyways, pushing back, we squeeze 200 in there. Um, so yeah, that's the size. 1 because we added that 200 and the value of that element is 200 because that's the only one there to get a better grasp on uh, well how this pushback is working I'm gonna actually kill a lot of code right here nope just you you know what Let's do, let me just manually input this alright so that's gonna kill that code and we're going to add 200 to this array, Evanilla State. Uh, it's going to make the size 4 because we're adding one element to 3. Uh, I don't need to comment, but you'll know. There's three elements. We're adding this fourth one from this pushback. Uh, when we look at the front value, it's going to be interesting. So, the size becomes 4, and the first element is 100. What's interesting is that 200 value kind of like went to the back. Hence, if we were to do this, you get the 200 value. So it's literally squeezing a fourth element at the at the very end of the array so that is apparently how that works um so yeah I mean I mean guess that's all there is to it if we were to for this lesson here so that's pretty cool that's basically how vectors work alright peace out